So that leads us to a couple of the other tools, the, the, the convert anchor point tool and the direct select tool. Let's talk first about the convert anchor point tool. I'm going to come here and I'm going to make four points and I'm just going to make a rectangle. So I did this just using the pen tool, clicking and no dragging. Let's say after I've finished making this, I realize that I need to create a curve on this upper right point. Well, I'm going to need to use my convert anchor point tool. So I can come over here and switch to it, or I can use the keyboard shortcut of shift C. And when I click on that point, I can now click it and drag it and pull the handles out that weren't they weren't pulled out before. The handles all the way in mean just straight angle. So now I'm pulling these out and getting them to the position in which I want them. Now, let's say that I'm working on this here and I now want to adjust this curve. I want to adjust these handles. Well, I can use the direct select tool, come and click on that point, and the handles appear. And with the direct select tool, I can click the handles and I can adjust them. So you see how I can say, well, I want less of a curve down here, more of a curve up there. Now notice, when I move the bottom handle, the top one moves too. And when I move the top handle, the bottom one moves too, when I'm working with the direct select tool. Well, if I don't want that to happen, that's the default for them to stay kind of locked together. If I don't want that to happen, <clears throat> all I need to do is hold down Option before I go click it. By holding Option, it breaks that connection. And now I can stop holding Option and I can just move these because that connection has been broken and I can put it however I want. So let's say I want to bring that down like that. I want to go with my delete anchor point tool and get rid of this one back here. Go back to my direct select tool and I can play around with this a little bit and create a wave. Okay, so that direct select tool you're going to be using to manipulate the handles. The convert, convert anchor point tool you're going to be using to pull handles out of a, a shape or a point that doesn't already have the handles out and you can also use that to manipulate the handles. Now here's a neat trick. Uh, when we talked in one of an early video about pressing and holding the space bar in order to switch momentarily to the hand tool, well when you're working in the pen tool you have a similar technique you can do to get to the convert anchor point tool. So if I go and I just drag like this, if I just hold down the command, the, sorry, the uh, option key, then I now switch temporarily to the convert anchor point tool just for as long as I'm holding that key. When I let go of that key, I go back to the uh, pen tool. Okay, so holding down the option key will switch us temporarily to the convert anchor point tool so we can make some adjustments if we want to with our corners. Release that and goes back to the pen tool. Now, another common thing that you may run into. Let's just say that I start working on a, a line with my pen tool and then I switch to something else and I do something else over here and now I want to come back and I want to continue on this line. Well, if I just start clicking, it's not going to, it's going to start a new shape, right? So what I need to do is I need to click the very, very last point that I made. And you'll see that it puts a little slash in the lower right of my pen tool cursor so that I can see that's what I'm about to do. Now when I click, it begins my path again and I can continue on. One more thing in working with handles, if I am working with the drag select tool and I want to adjust the handles or even when I'm pulling out handles of the pen tool, if I hold down shift, it locks those handles to angles of 45 degrees. So let's go back to the pen tool and let's say that I click a point right here. Let's go to the center of the document and I'm going to hold out shift so that I can keep these at 45 degree angles. And this allows me to you know just add another level of precision to what I'm drawing. 